Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord and walks in his ways. You shall, you shall eat of the fruit of the labor of your hands. You shall be blessed and it shall be well with you. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Behold, thus shall man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the pro prosperity of Jerusalem all of the days of your life. May you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Justin, Rachel, since it is your desire to take one another as husband and wife, we'll take a moment and I'd like for you to share the uh, vows which the two of you have written yourselves. And uh, I'm so grateful as I read those uh, the last couple of days and thankful to see that Christ is the center even of these vows. And so Justin, we'll start with you and you can, you can speak to Rachel. Darling, looking back at our first few dates on that cold November weekend, I felt like static electricity, stuck to you. Then shortly after that weekend, you had an 11 hour flight to catch. I remember as you walked into the terminal and all I wanted was to run up to the ticket booth and buy the next flight out. I told myself it was only seven days, only seven days. We had just met and that feeling of unrest I had felt should not have been so difficult. Now, I think of the of our time spent together, and how we haven't spent more than thirty six hours even apart, even when we lived more than an hour apart from each other. The countless hours of happiness and love we have shared, and being side by side, is a simple joy of life, but a strong foundation that grows our love every day. Then I didn't have the clarity that I have now. For a while I kicked myself for not getting on that flight, but booking the ticket and going. The Lord needed to prepare me, to prepare me in the immense ways that you love me, the deep and profound ways that you do. 
This is when I knew that you are the love of my life, my darling. So this I vow to you this day and forevermore. A love of humility. As Paul wrote in Philippians, If then there is any encouragement in Christ, if any consolation of love, if any fellowship with the Spirit, any affection and mercy, make my joy complete by thinking by thinking the same way and having the same love, united in spirit, intent on one purpose. This is what I see for our life. This is how I intend to love you every day in the same profound and deep ways Christ loves each and one of us. Justin. Today marks the beginning of our forever. I have found the one whom my soul loves. I knew since the first day we met that there was something special about you. On the chilly morning of our first date, I was met with the warmest embrace right from the start and a smile that lit up the whole room. In a moment of meeting you, I somehow felt like I had already known you my whole life. And by the end of that date, when you had accidentally helped yourself to my water, I knew that I wanted to share a lot more things with you. You are the love of my life and you make me happier than I could ever imagine and more loved than I ever thought possible. I promise to never forget how we began and allow that feeling to stay with us through to our very end. I promise to always share dessert knowing full well you'll always give me the last bite. I promise to encourage your goals and ambitions to celebrate your triumphs and console your sorrows. I promise to continue to learn together, to enjoy the little things and the surprises the rest of our lives will bring. To be your forever dance partner, sous chef, and adventurer. I promise to love you without reservations or conditions, to appreciate each day how lucky I am to have a man who makes me feel the way you do beautiful, cherished, and loved. And I will always work to make you feel as special and wonderful as I do each moment that we are together for the rest of our lives. Hun, you are the most incredible person and it is my privilege to call you my husband. You are my best friend and biggest supporter in everything we've done so far. And I know that will remain true for everything our future brings. I know your mom would be so proud of the man you've become. I choose you today and the rest of our tomorrows. May we always find strength in one another and continue to grow side by side each day. May our days be long and may they be filled with faith, love, understanding, and respect forever and ever. I love you always. It is my pleasure and my honor to now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Things that have disappeared, you know just where to look. You know just where to look And you You have a heart of gold and I, I love how I've watched you two grow together And the connection you have The intelligent conversations you guys have on dates And the plans you guys uh, have for a wonderful future together I'm proud that a best friend of mine Was able to find someone as great as you To call his wife Lastly, I'm fairly new to the married game, and with only three years in it, it just bear with me because I know I'm new. I only advise, the only advice I want to give to the newlyweds is about the rings. Though this ring is small, this is a symbol to everybody that you guys have built and will build. No matter what our families might joke about and what people might say, this ring does not get tighter if you're going out with friends having a drink. This ring doesn't just fall off over the years when you're on vacations or at work. 
This ring stays the same throughout your life and it'll be everything you two stand for. And I know y'all will cherish it and live your lives as a married couple as one. I love you both like family. I wish you nothing but the rest of your, the rest of your, sorry, for the best for the rest of your lives together. So to Justin and Rachel. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs> Just because I can The moon awaits the night The sun awaits the day And I'll await the time When I'll look you in the eyes And I'll say I do, I do, I do, I do I do, I do, I do Or through the calm and the wind Through thick and through thin Through the losses and wins Oh, I do, I do, I do Justin, I have waited my whole life for a brother. We loved our childhood dog, Cooper, <laughs> so dearly. Yeah, but I'm thrilled to finally have a brother that can talk back to me. <laughs> Though we haven't spent much time together, I know a lot about you through Rachel's eyes. Hearing of your kind heart, your integrity, love, and devotion, is all I can ask for and my sister's forever partner. Your presence in her life has brought out that smile, so I cherish you more than ever more than ever before. So I want to say thank you for that. And I truly cherish the way that you bring out that smile in her. So I'm so excited for the future you two will share. I pray many blessings over your marriage and all that's to come. So cheers to the Scots. <laughs>